Rutherford B. Hayes was the 19th president of America, who won the election by just one electoral vote. He ended Reconstruction in the South, recalling the troops and allowing the South to govern itself. Rutherford B. Hayes was born on October 4, 1822, in Delaware, Ohio. His father was a Vermont storekeeper, but sadly died ten weeks before his son's birth. Rutherford and his sister were raised by his widowed mother, who never remarried. His uncle Sardis became a father figure to him and contributed to his early education. Rutherford B. Hayes died on January 17, 1893, in Fremont, Ohio. The career of Rutherford B. Hayes included the roles of lawyer, soldier, politician, and statesman. He was well-educated at Kenyon College and Harvard Law School. He became the 19th President of America in 1877, during Reconstruction, and served for four years until 1881. Reconstruction was the system of bringing the southern states back into the United States after the Civil War. Rutherford B. Hayes married Lucy Ware Webb on December 30, 1852. Lucy Hayes was the first president's wife to be called First Lady of the Land. She was unkindly given the nickname Lemonade Lucy because she strongly supported the temperance movement. Rutherford B. Hayes and his wife Lucy had eight children. Hayes belonged to the Whig political party. The Whig political party operated from the early 1830s to the mid-1850s in opposition to the Democratic Party and favored a program of modernization, economic protectionism, and opposed tyranny. Hayes was 54 years old when he was inaugurated as the 19th president. Wheeler stood as the vice president. Rutherford B. Hayes was 5 feet 8.5 inches in height and weighed 170 to 180 pounds. He had dark brown hair, which turned white, deep-set blue eyes, and wore a full beard. He dressed simply, often in ill-fitting clothes. He was raised by his widowed mother and was wounded five times in the war. His nickname was Granny Hayes, as he did not drink, smoke, or gamble, and maintained a very straight-laced White House. During his lifetime, he played a key role in major events of the era. Rutherford B. Hayes was instrumental in the Compromise of 1877, which heralded the end of Reconstruction. Passing of the Bland-Allison Act, which demonetized silver and tied the nation's monetary system firmly to the gold standard, and in 1880 he pronounced the necessity of creating an American-controlled canal in Panama. Rutherford B. Hayes died of a heart attack on January 17, 1893, in Fremont, Ohio, and was buried in Spiegel Grove State Park. The following year, the Hayes Commemorative Library and Museum was opened on the site, funded by contributions from the state of Ohio and Hayes family. So ends our short biography about the life and presidency of Rutherford B. Hayes, which heralded the end of Reconstruction. The next U.S. president was James Garfield.